how hard is it going to be to recreate the culture that led y'all to that to that run? Well, he's a cornerstone, so uh, you know he's he's a seasoned veteran now, and it's basically his team, you know, with, with Jeff Teague and the guys they brought in for Millsap. And he has to he has to lead by example and with his voice. So definitely, it's it's a new regime, it's, it's different different locker room, but that's everywhere. That happens everywhere. It's a new culture, you know, different management coaching so it's probably a different style so he definitely has to take the onus on this group and say listen we've been here but we we want to go to uncharted waters we want to do things a little bit different here so he has to take that onus on his shoulders and, and carry this team yeah whether it's vocally or on the court yeah for you having been on a couple of different stops and, and seeing different cultures how hard is it to to revamp that? How hard is it to start from scratch like that? I mean, is it going to be more difficult maybe than he even understands, not having been anywhere but here his whole career? Or? Yeah, it's difficult because, you know, being in other places, you can take bits and pieces from different organizations and different coaching styles and just being around different guys and, you know, with this as being his main, mainstay, being here, you know, for seven years is different because he only has one perception of, you know, what a team is. He's never been anywhere else. He, he, he can't compare it to anything. He doesn't know the good, the bad, the ugly. So um, definitely, you know, that's where guys come to help, you know. It's different. You know, Y'all do this here, you do this there. So he, he has to get used to that. But like you said, it's starting over for him too, you know. It's starting for, well, he just wearing the same uniform. It's starting from ground zero. How many uniforms do you have? Um, funny you say that. I've only been to four teams, but this is my second second right. run with two, uh, three teams. You know, I was with Philly twice, I was with Milwaukee twice, and now Atlanta. So, I mean, different jersey, yeah. different numbers, but same, same situation. In, in your career, when you go to those teams, how long does it take for you guys to gel? When can we expect this team to kind of understand that sixth sense that you know where guys are going to fill in gaps or pick up the boards or start playing? Oh, it's going to take some time because it's a new regime. Like I said, it's a new team. Um, our office, the last weekend from that last group, so um, it's going to be some trials and tribulations, and you got to get through those, and that's what training camp is for, and that's what preseason is for. So um, the faster this team comes together, the better we'll be. So as soon as we learn that, you know, from tomorrow, Onward, then we'll be fine. In your previous experiences, how, what's the quickest it's been? Um, and then what's been the longest? The, the, the quickest was Oklahoma City. Definitely. Yeah. You know, when, when I got there, we, we were full steam ahead. And then you get in different situations. Like Philly last year, it never clicked. So, you know, with that, you know, you, you see the results. So, Oklahoma City, everybody was on the same accord, on the same page, same energy, same focus. I think it's it's the mental preparation, it's the mental focus that you have to have as a team because the talent's in the room, but if you don't have it up here, it never it never comes comes together. Your la your last Hawks media day, you were a totally different guy. You're a rookie coming in. What's been the biggest change in the NBA, and particularly with your game since then to now? Uh, you just gotta find your niche. You know, this is my tenth season. And you gotta find out, find out where you fit in, and how can you help the team. And some guys find out, and some guys don't. So I've been blessed to find out my niche and you know what I need to do to stay on a team or help a team. So um, you know, I'm just wiser now. I'm 31. I was 22 when I sat here before. So it's it's, it's been a blessing and uh, just a learning experience, definitely. Did you think then that you would be sitting here now, 10 years later? Never in long my career. Life dream. But life is a full circle. It starts with a point and an end. So I'm, I'm back and I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad to be here. And I'm, I'm here with willing hands and I'm willing to help and, and encouragement is my focal point. A lot of rookies here and a, and a rookie head coach. What's, what's the word on the street with Coach Bud? You know, what's his reputation? What do you got to know about him? San Antonio, you know, that he's, he's from a winning tradition, you know, going over for Oklahoma City, St. Preston, winning tradition. Danny Ferry, winning tradition. So they kind of have the same catalyst to everything. They started the same way, and they, hopefully they're going to end the same way. You know, he's a defensive first coach, you know, and a teacher. So you definitely need to teach the rookies. Uh, they need to learn the game first. They need to learn the ins and outs, the, what to do, what not to do, and how to perfect it.